Look, can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. What's on your mind? I told you before how Al Eamon raised me, right? That my mother was a serving girl at the castle and he took me in? The reason he did that was because, well, because my father was King Marek, which made Kaelin my half-brother, I suppose. Ah, okay. So, you're not just a bastard, but a royal bastard. Ha, yes, I guess it does at that. I should use that line more often. I would have told you, but it never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaelin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. Does Loghain know? Why wouldn't he? He was King Marek's best friend. I don't know if that means anything, though. I certainly never considered the idea that it might ever be important. At any rate, that's it. That's what I had to tell you. I thought you should know about it. So you're the heir to the throne, then? Let's hope not. I'm the son of a commoner and a Grey Warden to boot. It was made very clear to me early on that there was no room for me raising any rebellions or such nonsense. And that's fine by me. No, if there's an heir to be found, it's Al Eamon himself. He's not of royal blood, but he is Kaelin's uncle, and more importantly, very popular with the people. Though, if he's really as sick as we've heard... Oh, no, I, I, I don't want to think about that. I really don't. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Great Wardens. Aren't you? See? I knew you could do it. It's easy, isn't it? Hey everybody, welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. And here we are at Redcliffe to see what's wrong with all Eamon since we have been told that he is sick. I thought I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? I'm on important business. I need to see all Eamon. You are? Then you you don't know? Has nobody out there heard? I've heard all Eamon is sick, if that's what you mean. He could be dead for all we know. Nobody's heard from the castle in days. We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. Apparently everyone seems to agree that a blight is the perfect time to start killing each other. Marvelous, really. We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? I, I, I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, nobody does. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Ban Tegan, our Lehman's brother, he's here. Yes. It's not far, if you'll come with me. It's Thomas, yes? And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainersphere, brother to the Arl. I remember you, Ban Tegan. Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! 
This is wonderful news. Still alive, yes. Though I'm just as surprised about that as you are, believe me. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. Why? What has Loghain said about us? That Loghain pulled out his own men in order to save them. That Caelan risked the entire nation's safety in the name of glory. Loghain calls the Grey Wardens traitors, murderers of the king. I don't believe it. It is an act of a desperate man. So you are a Grey Warden as well. A pleasure to meet you. I wish it were under better circumstances. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. I can help you drive them back. How pointless to help these villagers fight an impossible battle. One would think we had enough to contend with elsewhere. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. I am on my way. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. And I have been waiting for this moment. Let us pray. You are a stranger amongst us. And a mage, I see. Yet you still defend our home in its darkest hour. We are grateful. Mm. I cannot stand by while monsters attack the helpless. Not many in these modern days would honestly say the same. You are a man of worth, and the Maker will smile upon you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this Chantry which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. How awful this must be for you all. Is this everyone who's left? All those who cannot defend themselves, yes. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? I have been waiting for this moment. So everybody... If you would like to join in, please do, because I certainly am. I would like your blessing, Mother. Of course, child. Blessed, Blessed art thou who exists in the Maker's sight. Blessed art thou who seeks his forgiveness. Blessed art thou who seeks his return. Blessed is the prophetess, his daughter, sacrificed to the Holy, to the Holy Flame. flame. May the, May the chant, chant reach, reach the, maker's the maker's ears and tell him of, of our contrition. Wonderful. That was lovely. Now, scared, uh, let me see what I can do around here. Oh, and your name looks familiar. You're a Grey Warden, right? Were you in Ostagar? In the Kokari Wilds? My husband and son went there to bring the Chant of Light to the Chastened. But I haven't heard from them since. Are you Jeddah? I am. You've heard of me? I have something here from your husband. Oh? Oh, his lockbox! If you're bringing me this... Oh no, I'm sorry. Thank you so much for bringing this to me. It means a lot to... Make his blessings upon you. Yeah... Where's father? Why can't we go um, home? What do you Good need day. help with? Huh? Oh, nothing? I'm so scared, father. What are we going to do? Sorry. Am I bothering you? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. Are you alright? Why are you crying? Those... those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but... 
I hear her screaming all the time, everywhere. How terrible, you poor thing. I wish there was something we could do to help. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. Don't worry, I'll look for him. You will. Thank you so much. Please find him. I, I guess so. All right, let me see what There'll I can do to no help around here. No sign of them coming back from the castle, Murdoch. Tell them to maintain watch. I don't want a surprise attack. Man, imagine living in a place like this. They say your mother is Clement, a witch of the Kakari Wells. They also say that washing your feet in winter makes you catch cold in the head, but we all know that is not true. But sometimes they are right, and they are right in this. You know the stories about. Of course. You think my mother would let me go without telling me all the stories of her youth? My mother told me stories too. She was the one who kindled my love of the old tales and legends. Hmm. My mother's stories curdled my blood and haunted my dreams. No little girl wants to hear about the wilder men her mother took to her bed, using them till they were spent, then killing them. No little girl wants to be told that this is also expected of her once she comes of age. I... um... I see. No, you don't. You really don't. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Ban Tegan is to see you here. I must admit that I do not quite know how to address you. Is my lord sufficient? Call me Mikhail, if you would. As you wish, and thank you kindly. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes, Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle, or perhaps I would be dead. Ah oh, well, with the Grey Warden aiding our defense, perhaps all is not lost. Is there anything I can do to help? We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. Is there anything else you need? No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. Carry on. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. I'm not going to ask for your help because you are as useless as a wet toilet paper. But uh, this one here, this one seems to look like a point of interest. Not looking for company. Strange seeing an elf here. Wait, let me try that again. Strange seeing an elf here. Elves aren't allowed to travel? It's just curious, that's all. I'm not here to talk. There's something about this man's demeanor. I... Uh, I don't know. I have no idea what you're talking about. But you do, don't you? I know spy when I see one. Look, I don't know you, and I don't want to. I'm not... I mean, I was just told to... I mean, just leave me alone. What do you mean? What were you told to do? Nothing. Nobody told me to do anything. Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't mean you can go around threatening people. This will be easier if you just tell me what you're hiding. 
If I... But I never... Oh, all right, I'll tell you. Just... Just don't hurt me. This is more than I bargained for. Look, they just paid me to watch the castle and send word if anything should change. But they never said anything about monsters. I haven't even been able to report anything since this started. I'm stuck, same as you, I swear. How do I know you're telling the truth? Here, this is a letter from them. It has instructions and everything. Keep it, do whatever you want with it. I just thought I was serving the king and making a bit of coin on the side. You have to believe me. I think you should help defend Redcliffe tonight. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thank you for your mercy. I won't forget it. Alrighty. Wait. I can't believe Lloyd won't even give us some free ale. A time like this, and all he thinks about is turning a profit. Did you expect any different? That bastard's always been cheaper than an tea from the hall. Here we are defending the village, and he don't even have the decency to help us out. He's charging you? Well, that's outrageous. Better wait. Better you should be drunk for the coming battle. I was drunk for the last two fights, and I wouldn't have it any other way. If you fought those things, you'd know. Lloyd is charging us for coin we don't even got anymore. Nobody's working right now. We're all just trying to survive. Ah, uh, what difference does it make? He won't care. Mm, I'll be the judge of that now, will I? Hello there, friend. Can't say we've ever met before. Stranger to the village, I take it. Haven't had many travelers lately. All this nonsense is bad for business. Bet you regret coming, yes? Uh, not at all. Brave words. Brave words. Well, we'll see when night falls, won't we? So, what'll it be? You are here to drink, I hope. I hear you're charging the militia for ale. Why shouldn't I? They may not have much coin, but I'm not giving it away for free. Think of the goodwill you'll learn. I, I never thought of that. Hmm. Maybe I could try it for a bit. Right then, you men over there. Drinks are on the house. All militia drink for free. Oh, you're a saint, Lloyd. Ha <laughs> ha! If them creatures don't kill me, I swear they'll bleed me dry. Something else I can get for you? Nope, I should go. Right then. Alright, now let's see how they're holding up. I can't believe I'm still alive. I guess that could change tonight. Mm, I can only hope they can actually help in this fight. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? I heard they all died with the king. Mm, you heard wrong. So you say. A damn Kunari could walk up and say he was a Grey Warden. I wouldn't know the difference. We aren't going to turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Don't take me for being an ingrate or nothing. Well, we do want to help however we can. You can trust us. Name's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village, providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. Mm, have faith, good man. We will defeat this evil together. I... I hope you're right. I've been trying to hold us together, but it isn't easy. Anyhow, you're here, and they tell me you're in charge. What can I do to help? We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. Is there anything else you need? We could use some extra bodies. 
Having a veteran like Dwin in the militia would help a lot, but he flat out refuses. Tell me about Dwin. He's a trader, a dwarf, lives near the lake, locked himself up in his home with some of his workers, he has. Says he doesn't need any of us. We could use somebody with his fighting experience, but he won't come out. Carry on, then. I have a good feeling about tonight. Well, I can only hope for the latter. Uh... Go away. Curse you! Leave me in peace! You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Is this Owen? The blacksmith? I need to speak with you. Huh? Who is that? What do you want? I've been through enough. I'd prefer not to speak through a door. Can I come in? Hmm. All right, all right. Let me undo the locks. All I ask is that you don't make any trouble. Make his breath. What is that smell? It's like someone set a brewery on fire. Somebody's been drinking. So I let you in. You wanted to talk. Now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? My name is Mikhail, a Grey Warden helping Ban Tegan. A Grey Warden, is it? <laughs> it takes all kinds. Anyhow, my name's Owen, though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? Or is there something in particular you wanted? Why have you locked yourself in the smithy? My girl, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle, but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead. Or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. I will rescue your daughter. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. I'll do my best. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing, and I didn't believe him either. You are asking a great deal, you wretched little man. I want a promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. I promise you. I'll find her. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? And I suppose there's no point in me sitting around, is there? Time to relight the forge and get the smithy going, eh? Murder could be pleased. If you need anything done, well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. I must admit, it feels good to be up and doing something finally. There's no way I'm sobering up before morning, however. Let's talk business. Right. I haven't got much, obviously, but I'll do whatever I can for you. Oh, wait, no. Hold on. Hey, I see you found my hiding place. I stuck some old equipment in there before Murdoch could get his hands on it. I don't think there's anything you'll need in there. But it's hard to say. I was in a bit of a rush when I filled it up. Couldn't the militia use this? Not if I'm going to repair the equipment they have. That stuff is old, anyhow. Yeah, let me open it for you. I have the key. Hmm. There we go. Who else should I be seeing? I'll 
check that house later. Um, nothing in the general store. I mean, technically there is, but um, I'm, I'm not gonna go through that. Wonderful. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. We'll go where we like. Unless you'd like to stop us. Or rather, you're talking to a mage. Care to rephrase that? You know what? In the interest of keeping my face from bursting into flame, I think I will. The name's Dwin. Pleased to meet you. Now, kindly tell me why you're here. Murdoch says he needs you for the militia. So what? You're recruiting for him? I'll tell you what I told Murdoch. I'm not risking my neck for this town. Can't I change your mind? Maybe. Let's hear what you've got. I'll put in a good word for you with Bantigan or the all. Hmm. You might just be able to pull that off. Fine. I'll throw in with the militia. For now. You better be out there too when the sun goes down. I'm not fighting for a lost cause, you hear me? I was afraid I would mess that up, but thankfully I didn't. And... I'll come back for that later. Two more things to do. Let me again, how much? No, not much, okay. <gasps> Hello? Is someone in there? Go away! This isn't your home! This is my home! My home, you hear me? Bevan? Is that you? How... How do you know my name? I spoke to your sister in the Chantry. Did... Did she tell you to take me back to the Chantry? Don't make me go back there. I hate that place. I hate it! Don't you think your sister might be worried about you? Maybe. But she just tells me not to be scared. Even though she is. She tells me not to be sad. But she keeps crying because Mother died. I... I don't want to be sad. I'm brave. I'm going to be a hero. I'm going to fight them off. I will. Thumb in there? No. No. I just heard you coming and... I guess that's not very brave of me, is it? I'll... I'll come out now. All right. I came out. You won't hurt me. Will you? I'll go back to the Chantry if you really want. First, tell me what you were doing in there. I... I can't tell you. It's a secret. Are you sure? Maybe I could help you. You could. Alright, I guess. I just... Father said I could have his sword when I grew up. It was Grandfather's. And Grandfather was a great dragon slayer. I thought, if I was brave like Grandfather, I could use his sword and kill the bad people who took Mother. Where is the sword now? In the chest. In Mother's room. Father gave me a key, but I'm not supposed to give it to anyone. Perhaps I could help you and your sister in return? You could? Maybe you could... give my sister money? 
She said if we had money, we'd be all right, even if Mother is dead. I'll talk to you, sister, about it. I promise. Oh, all right. Here's the key. I hope you use it to kill a lot of those bad people. I should go back to the chantry. Good luck. Well, I think I already know what to do. But at the same time, some sacrifices have to be made Finished. for the right reasons. Plus, it's the one item I seriously do not need anyway. So, give me a quick second. This one I seriously do not need. Because it improves blood magic and who uses blood magic? Not me, that's for sure. These humans don't know the hilt of a sword from a pointy end. This ought to be interesting. Bevan said you were the one who found him. I can't possibly repay you. So, um, about the sword I found in your home. Bevan told me about Grandfather's sword. So you have it, then? I... Suppose it won't go to waste, at least. I promised Bevan I would pay you for it. I ha have no idea what it's worth, to be honest. And you found Bevan? I couldn't ask you for money. It's a very valuable sword. So here, 500 silver. Take it. Oh, how generous we are today, it appears. That's, that's incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much. How can I ever repay you? Just stay safe, both of you. The Maker sent you. I just know it. Thank you again. What is it you need, child? Sir Perth needs holy protection for the knights. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. What do you mean? Sir Perth believes that I can protect them against these creatures, a shield only the Maker can provide, and that I withhold this power. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. I... suppose you're right. Indeed. I know Sir Perth means well, but I will not lie to him about something so important. I'm, s I'm sorry, guys, but one more time. I would like your blessing, Mother. Of course, child. Blessed art thou who exists in the Maker's sight. Blessed art thou who seeks his forgiveness. Blessed art thou who seeks his return. Blessed is the prophetess, his daughter, sacrificed to the Holy Flame. May the chant reach the Maker's ears and tell him of our contrition. Very wonderful. Good day. I 
I hear you got the tavern serving the militia free ale now. While I don't favor my men being drunk come sundown, I suppose it helps morale to have their minds taken off. What's to come? You have my thanks. Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll inform Bantig and the militia is ready to fight. We'll give those bastards a welcome they won't soon forget. I like to talk about Dwin. Thanks for persuading him to come out here. He's going to be a great help. I just know it. I want to discuss something else. There's not much time before sundown. Oh, shoot. Well, how is morale? The men's spirits are high for now. Far better than I expected, to be honest. Dwin's presence makes the men a bit more confident. It helps to know a veteran is on our side tonight. My men are getting free drinks at the tavern. I suppose it's better to drown your fears rather than go mad waiting for certain death. I'm tempted to have a few ales myself. Since you convinced Owen to start repairs, we're pretty well armed now. That is a relief, let me tell you. Overall, I'd say the militia's very ready to fight. Never thought I'd say that, but there you go. Is there anything else? Shoot, I completely missed that persuade option. I'll be back. I need to check on something. I have a good feeling about tonight. Shoot. Well, I feel stupid for not choosing it right away. The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. So, um, you said you wanted holy protection? Have you spoken to the revered mother? Has she offered anything? Mother Henna does not believe she can help you. I see. Then I suppose we must simply rely on our own prayers. The Maker will not help us. Thank you for your efforts. We shall fight on, nevertheless. You mentioned something about an urn? When the Isle fell sick, we were at a loss. Nothing worked to cure him, and he just kept getting worse. Finally, our lesser Isold came up with a plan. The urn of sacred ashes is a legendary artifact said to hold great healing powers. If found, it might save him. They say the followers of Andraste smuggled her ashes out of Tevinter and hid them in Ferelden. The urn's never been heard of since. We knights volunteer to seek it out. Few of us have returned. Many are still out there, unaware of what is happening here. I want to discuss something else. As you wish. What is your status? Although we are far better equipped than Murdoch and his villagers, we knights are too few. Things will be grim after sundown. Overall, my fellow knights are nervous about the coming battle. Death is almost certain, but we will fight and die valiantly if that's what the Maker demands. Is there anything else you need? No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the Mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. I have some questions for you. Ask me whatever you wish. Mm, actually, no. Carry on. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. Uh, let me just quickly check. Okay, well... I guess I should be set for tonight. Um, keep in mind that chances are I may not be able to save everyone. I mean, I'll 
I'll try, but I cannot promise that. The repairs are underway surprisingly quickly, considering how drunk Owen is. We may just make it. I am ready to make my stand. Let's wait for sundown. Are you sure? There's still time left if you need to talk with Sir Perth or do anything else. Nope. I'm ready now. Then good luck to you. You'll need it. Men know that we fight for the
Dawn arrives, my friends, and all of us remain. We are victorious. And it is these good folk you see beside me that we have to thank for our lives today. Without their heroism, surely we would all have perished. I bow to you, sir. The Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. Allow me to offer you this, the helm of Sir Ferris the Red, my great uncle and hero of Ferelden. He would approve passing it to one so worthy. Really? But I lost two militiamen. I thought I was going to fail that, but... Huh. I genuinely did not expect that. But you know what? Keep it. I don't need any reward for this. Nonsense, good sir. I am glad to part with it. I insist. Take it, then, and use it in good health. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Now they walk with he who is their maker. Long may they know the peace of his love. So let it be. With the maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Now we've no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. Unbelievable. Despite losing two militia men, I actually somehow did the impossible for Redcliffe. Huh. Huh. Okay. I'll I'll accept it, happily. Took a ride on the sails of a windmill. Didn't turn out well. 